It's the NFL on EA Sports, where we'll see two of the NFL's oldest and most storied franchises. It's the Chicago Bears and the Detroit Lions, and it's all just ahead on Madden NFL 25. From the automotive capital of the world, we get a look at a venue that pays homage to that industry. Welcome to Ford Field here in Detroit, Michigan. Joined by a former NFL quarterback up in the booth, Mr. Brock Heward. I'm Kate Scott. And Brock, uh, you can brag if you'd like to because I know you had quite the big arm in your days with the Huskies and the Seahawks in Seattle. Well, we've got a couple of quarterbacks here who also know how to push that football down the field. Yeah, you got a couple QBs who are going to keep these defenses honest today because the moment they get greedy in coverage or get too aggressive in the pocket, either of these quarterbacks can drop a dime, drop a deep throw right mm -hmm. over them for big yardage, and maybe six points, too. Ball is teed up. It's their punter, Tory Taylor, to do the honors. And we're off and running from Ford Field. Greg Reynolds to return it. And in the end, he's able to get it to what used to be a touchback. It's at the 25 after the return. So the Lions take the field for their first drive. And leading them out in his ninth NFL season, he experienced a real resurgence last year. It's Jared Goff. The questions about Jared Goff's future as an NFL starter, whether there's a long-term answer in Detroit, those are long gone. This offseason, signing a lucrative, lucrative deal, including over $170 million guaranteed dollars. What I love about what he's done in the Motor City is he's created a sense of belief a confidence that they have been waiting for, clamoring for. When he steps on the field and into that huddle, he elevates everybody around him. He's made believers in Detroit. Quite a redemption story for Jared Goff. Halfway there on first down, that brings up second and five. That run's not gonna turn many heads, but at the end of the year, I promise you, if you average over five yards a run, you're gonna be a pro bowler. From the 30 on second down. That's complete to Sam Laporta. And that one goes for a gain of 11. And that'll be first down Detroit. That's just great instincts. Go air it out on second down rather than just play conservative and run it. They hit a weak point in the coverage and don't need to worry about third down at all. They'll head up first and 10 from the 42. Off play action, Goff. Makes the grab and bounds left side. It's a 30-yard play, Brock, and they've got a fresh set of downs. Now, right there, that's what you want to see on your opening drive. Boom, connect on a big shot, and instantly you set a tone that you're not going to be afraid to be aggressive in this game today. Boy, do I love that. So the big play has him well into enemy territory and field goal range. They're inside the 30. They motion the tight end over. Goff on first and 10. That's incomplete left side. Looking for Sam Laporta with that one. And now they face second down. You know, in the NFL, offensive-minded teams will call it a perfect Friday. They don't want the ball to hit the ground once. And especially on these short to intermediate throws, You've got to count on those being efficient and effective. Patrick going to motion over left. Throwing again. It's gone. St. Brown's got it. Complete. And he gets this forward to the 19. Now following that completion, we see a man shaking up. Officials calling for a pause as he gets looked at. down one yard to go out of the shotgun gone complete beyond the marker and he's tackled with the first down yardage I call this quarterback's best friend 
Some call it a safety valve. Some call it automatic. But it's sure nice as a quarterback when you got a trusty running back over the middle of the field that you can depend on. Still on the move, coming to the line for first and ten. Shotgun snap here to go. This throw is cut. And that play is brought to a halt, so you're going to say, at the five-yard line. That is the epitome of staying on schedule. That kind of completion right there on first down. Well, it opens up the entirety of the playbook for second down. And with third and short in your back pocket, you can get even more aggressive and take that shot. Running on second with Montgomery. And he's brought down for a loss. Perception and reality, Kate. The perception out there from the public is edge rushers are defined by their sacks. The reality in the locker room and in the huddle is you can be defined by your relentlessness. And his motor never stopped. Helped him track it down for a loss on the outside. Goff now on third down. The Bears close it in, and they'll get him! And the defense comes through to back him up ahead of fourth down. Kate, I've seen a, a one-step drop. I've seen a three, a five, a seven. Some of the boots and play actions you get more depth. But a 20-step drop? <laughs> That's not going to cut it. Except for this defense, it just adds a whole bunch of negative yards to that play. On fourth down, the Lions going to try to put three on the board here with Jake Bates. This is a 35-yard look from the right hash. Bates' kick is up and good. And the opening drive of the game ends in three points. Well, I know once that drive stalls out, that's where it really pays to have that reliable kicker on the sideline ready to bail you out. And he knocks that one right through to give him the lead. Fox now to kick this one away. Here's DeAndre Carter with the return. And a decent return ends as they bring him down inside the 30. So out come the Bears, ready for their first possession. And leading them out to the number one overall pick in this year's draft out of USC, a player with immense promise, Caleb Williams. Caleb was one of the most hyped prospects ever out of college football, and I'm not speaking out of turn or any hyperbole there. That's why he was the number one pick. And you put on his highlight reel, Kate, you can put that highlight reel against anybody the last 50 years. The way that he creates and extends plays, the ways that he can run and still sling it totally off platform and off balance all over the field. He also does it with a flair and eccentricity that is unique and really not common coming into the league as well. A superstar in the making. Two on the pickup there, and it's going to be second and eight. Okay, that's a run that's whole hum on the stat sheet, but if you see a bigger play on the ground later on, it'll largely be because of a play just like that one, softening up the front and opening the door for a bigger gap in the future. Finds his running back, DeAndre Swift. And it's a nice little chunk here, six yards. Brought down by the veteran, Carlton Davis. Rhythm. You hear me talk about rhythm a lot. Whether it's a golf swing, a baseball swing, heck, even a bowler gets himself into rhythm. And I'm just telling you, Kate, from experience, these little throws to running backs, it's one of the best things to get your offense into rhythm and a nice little gain on top of it. That's into the hands of Moore. And he's going to bring it up to the 40-yard line before he stopped. And that goes as a four-yard pickup, and it gets him a first down. You know, they call that the money down for a reason, because you're just simply not going to last long in the NFL if you don't convert a good portion of your third downs. It's the money down. And nice to see them roll the dice and continue the series. First down throw by Williams. Able to get it to Moore. And they're going to bring him down just on the other side of midfield. It's a pickup of 11. And that's a Chicago first down. <laughs> that is what elite offenses are all about. Why worry about three downs when you need only one? Move the chains in one play, 
and keep driving that defense backwards. First down, here's Swift. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. It's a pickup of 26, and that's good for a Bears first down. I'll tell you what, Kay, one of the things I'm most proud of coming out of broadcast are my O-line buddies that will hit me up during the game and say thank you. Thank you for finally showing some love and giving some light to what those big boys are doing up front. I got to play with some of the best to do it. I got to see it up close and personal. Because of it, I'll never forget it. And they just showed up on that run. They kick the running back in motion. Williams to throw on first. Komet brings it in. And he won't salvage that. It's a loss on the play. Well, if they were concerned about losing yards, running it on first down, <laughs> it just happened anyway. Not many passes end in a loss. Hopefully they got a little more aggressive strategy coming here on second down. All right, here we go. Second down. To throw, Williams finds him over the middle. And he's short of the first after a mild game. Quarterbacks will look for their tight end short in just about any situation. They take away the deeper options. Well, there's their consistent source of positive yardage, the trusty tight end. A fifth defensive back into the game for the Lions. Third down coming. Out of the gun, here's Williams. He has the first over the middle. And he's brought down inside the 10 at the 9. They'll take that kind of passing from the rookie out of USC. He gets him the first. I'm not sure how this defense let that guy slip through him like that. On third down, nonetheless, he took that snap as an opportunity. And man, did he make an impact play. These two NFC North teams have played one so far. Just three to nothing is our score. We're back to Ford Field right after this. Welcome back. Second quarter about to start. Bears with a chance for at least three, possibly six. First and goal, Swift. And he has enough room to gain about four. Hey, I get it on first and goal, right? A lot of teams like to be conservative and, and limit risk. Even if a run is stopped short, he's still got two, sometimes three downs to play with. Second and goal coming up. Five yards to the end zone. Again, it's going to be Swift. And he pushed for it, but they managed to stop him at the two. Just a couple on that play. It's going to be third and goal. Well, you get a little bit closer, but you can feel the pressure starting to mount. Unless you're committed to playing four downs here, this becomes a critical third down call. Swift. And he gets in. Touchdown. The Bears finish off their opening drive. DeAndre Swift, the touchdown. No doubt about that one, Brock. They soften that defense up with that lengthy opening series. And then the front just couldn't stand up to the run as they reach the end zone. Yeah, the numbers tell you, kind of just like baseball, you love home runs, you love explosive plays, but when you can play small ball and you can keep that defense gasping on the field, you can often run it right down their throats in the red zone. Now Cairo Santos on to add the PAT. Extra point sent right down the middle. And the Bears one up the opposing field goal. They start with seven on their opening drive. Taylor has it on the tee and is ready to send in fly. Reynolds with a return. He stopped on the return at the 27. Detroit getting its offense set for their second drive. 
And the last drive did end in points. Not as many as they wanted, though. They had to settle for that field goal despite advancing the football pretty well. Offense ready to begin this drive. First and ten. Tight end going in motion here. First down throw from Goff. Completed over the middle. And this is pushed ahead for a gain of five. Tyreek Stevenson getting up to track that one down. Every once in a while, it's fine to be conservative on first down, especially when you get enough to stay on schedule and get a little something coming out of it, too. Halfway to the marker. It's second and five. From the gun, Goff has him on the quick hitter. And he finds space for about a three-yard gain. That tackle made by Tremaine Edmonds. He's just one of those guys, Kate. Even when he's not open, he's still a target thanks to that physicality and his ability to just play bully ball. They don't like forcing into coverage, but sometimes when you got a bully like him that can create space, you just find a way to get him the ball. It's Montgomery on third. And he's dropped just short of the marker, maybe a yard away. That's one of those plays, Kate, as an offense. It just sticks with you a little bit. It bothers you that you just can't convert on a very manageable down and distance. And on the other side, well, it sure gives you some confidence defensively to get off the field. On comes Jack Fox to handle the fourth down punt for the Lions. Begins his return at the 16. And he gets his guys a few yards before they bring him down on the return. The Bears and DeAndre Swift set for their next drive. And that punt finishes as a 60-yard effort. And it's going to be Bears football. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. Williams on the play action. It's taken in by Roman Dunze. And he's going to bring it up to the 40-yard line before he stopped. They'll get 18 yards there. And that's a Chicago first down. You know, Kate, you'll find teams go to this crossing route concept Sometimes a dozen times a game. A lot of times it's for short yardage, but sometimes things break in the right coverage for a much bigger impact play, just like that. First down, Williams. And oh, someone stepped in. It's intercepted. Amik Robertson takes it away. And the Lions take over after forcing the first turnover of this ball game. Well, we all know, Brock, those slot guys start piling up receptions, and that makes them a priority target for the defense. Yep. They kept someone nearby, and they pick off that check down. Yeah, if a play breaks down in today's football, like back in my day, last century, right, you checked it down to the running back. That's not the case anymore. These yeah. slot receivers, well, they're as big a security blanket as running backs are, but the defenses, to your point, Kate, they figured it out, too. And that defense, well, they didn't just figure it out in their head. They went out and executed with their bodies to take it away. Ball on the 45, first and 10. They go play action with golf. And he's able to take this one down to the 25. They get 20 yards out of the play and move the chains. I love throwing on first down. And when you see a first down pass just like that, it's taking advantage of a matchup you plan for and you go out and execute. On first down, it's gone. And he's brought down inside the 10 at the 9. That's a pickup of 17 yards, partner, and it makes it first and goal. 
Part of the reason I leave you pregame, Kate, and get down to that field and watch these guys throw and catch is I want to see their timing. I want to see their anticipation. That is picture perfect right there. A crossing route thrown that quickly tells me these two are in the same. And he will get this to the end zone for a Detroit touchdown. The Lions parlay the interception into points. David Montgomery with the touchdown. They kept it on the ground as opposed to airing it out. And that time, well, Brock, the ground game paid off. Well, these great rushing attacks down here that could score rushing touchdowns, it takes the whole party getting involved. Yeah, the burst of the running back was tremendous. How about the launch of his blockers right off the line of scrimmage? That's a touchdown the entire way, and it took the entire group offensively. Point after up and good from Bates. And the Lions push their lead to three. Fox now to kick this one away. Tyler Scott now to return it. Coverage team gets him down at the 26-yard line. Chicago getting set to take the field now. And coming off the interception, a good chance to reestablish some momentum as they get set. drive will start out with a first and ten. Looking to throw here and shake off that previous INT. Ooh, almost a throw that cost him. Defender had it in his hands, but he dropped it. It's incomplete. Second down coming up. Hey, Kate, you feeling lucky? <laughs> well, the quarterback is because he just dodged a major turnover. That was an easy pick that was simply dropped. No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. Now an inside handoff to Swift. And his drive up the middle gets him about three. Brian Branch getting there for the tackle. I think one thing you learn, Kate, when you transition from college to the NFL, not every run is going to be a big play. Some of them, well, they're just destined to end in a minimal game, and some of them will set up that critical play action for later. Third down, here's Williams. That is caught along the sideline, and he gets the feet down. Wow! They'll get 31 yards on the play. And that's good for a Bears first down. You know, Kate, we often talk about flipping the field in special teams, right? A, a kick return, a good punt. Well, an explosive play like that does the exact same thing. Look at the difference in field position by hitting on that shot. You've totally flipped the field in the tone of this drive. Big play gets him across midfield, sets him up first and 10 from the 40. Working from the gun, Williams. Short pass brought in. And he'll get this down to the 33-yard line. Time and again, receivers will tell their quarterbacks, just give me a chance. Just give me a chance. Just throw it up and give me the opportunity. Well, in this case, with even two defenders trying to cover that wide receiver, couldn't get it done. Second and three now. Off the play fake, Williams. Completed here to Komet. And he'll get it down to the 24-yard line. Give him nine on that play, and it's enough for the first. When you see play action, do all you can to get your eyes to the tight end, because that's their bread and butter. That play action gives him time off the line, helps chip a rusher, or even helps sell that fake. And then when he releases, he gets out, he gets some leverage, he gets to that edge before the defender can cover him. The drive picks up here, first and ten. Sticking in the air, it's Williams. And he'll score, touchdown Chicago! The Bears get some late points and the lead. It's Aroma Dudes, a touchdown!
Well, they definitely wanted to get that one out quick, Brock. They did just that, and it ends in six. We hear it all the time, but it is so true, Kate. This is a game about matchups, and when you see a throw that quick, it really was determined pre-snap. It was great design and tremendous execution. Santos now for the extra point. The point after splits the upright. And the Bears take a four-point lead. Taylor has it on the tee and is ready to send and fly. Has this at the six. And this return gets to the 30 before he stopped. The Lions down running back David Montgomery getting back to work. They'll try to emphasize what worked on their last drive, which ended Brock in a touchdown. First and 10 now from the 30. Out of the shotgun, gone. Pass is caught, that's Tim Patrick. And he's out of bounds beyond the 35 yard line. That's what you call efficiency. Exactly what you're looking for in first down. Textbook, it sets up second and very manageable and then creates that space if you want to take a shot downfield. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. From the 36, he beams one deep right side. Really pushing the envelope on second down, but the deep shot doesn't work. Looking for his wide receiver there. And now they need to get four on third down. There's the importance of staying in phase as a defender. He was all over him in coverage, and that really did help force the incompletion. Off now on third down. Nice work by the back here. Playing safety valve complete. And they're going to bring him down just on the other side of midfield. Now we're going to get an offensive timeout. So that's their first. And they can take a moment to try to build more momentum after getting that first. Throwing again, it's Goff. That's complete to the back, David Montgomery. And he has this one past the 50 and will start downhill into Bears territory. Well, that's a pretty similar result to a first down run play. Moves it forward, keeps you on schedule, and makes second and third down a whole lot easier to manage. Lions really moving with a sense of urgency. Clock keeps running. Second and six now. Got Williams, and it's complete. And he's going to get it out past the 40 before he goes out. That one gains seven. And that gives the Lions the first. I'm sure coach and play caller doesn't mind making the job a little bit easier. You know, play calling's a lot simpler and easier when you count on the offense to move the chains on those early downs. Goff on first and ten. Patrick with the catch. And he takes it inside the 35 before heading out. I know I could sound like a broken record when I talk about timing and getting the ball out on time and on rhythm, but these outcuts, it is so imperative, and the best of them make it look oh so easy. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. From the 34. Gets this one to Patrick. And he's going to be brought down at the 23-yard line. Detroit calls timeout, it's second. And they still have one in their pocket for what's left of this half. Sure seems like he knew exactly what he wanted, and he got it going right where he wanted to with the ball off the snap. All right.
right, set now, first and ten. Shotgun snap here to Goff. To the right and hauled in by Laporta. And they make the stop as that play reaches the 14-yard line. Sometimes when you're just looking to move it forward, get some small yards on a throw, quarterback's best friend, security blanket. And when it's a big old tight end, that's an extra bonus. Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one. From the gun, Goff. And the catch is made. Touchdown, Detroit. The Lions take the lead just before halftime. It's a Sam Laporta touchdown. Well, we all know that he's somebody they like to have working down near the end zone, Brock. And there is so many ways they know how to use him down there. Yeah, things are constantly different down there when you're trying to defend him, which is what makes defending him so tough. Borderline impossible at times. He can make the smallest little tweaks to his route, just like a receiver would, and it's a totally different animal, a nightmare for these defenses. Bates now for the point after. Right down the middle, it's good. And the Lions push their lead to three. Fox now to kick this one away. And he opts not to bring this one out, so they're going to enjoy some good starting field position from the 30. First and 10 now with all of 15 seconds left to utilize in this half. All right, keeping it simple. They're just going to call a give right up the middle. And he's going to bring it up to the 40-yard line before he stopped. The Bears decide to call their first time out. They'll have two left to work with before halftime. New slated downs to approach here from the 40. Williams to throw on first. That's going to be caught by Carter. And they push this down to the opposing 47-yard line. Just before halftime, we get a timeout taken. Football on that 47-yard line, first down. Here's Williams. A massive shot towards the end zone. Defender arrives right as the ball does, and the hit knocks it free. Incomplete. We've arrived at halftime here in Detroit. The Lions defending their building. They've got the lead at the break. Now we'll get you down to our Orlando studios for the EA Sports Halftime Report with Jonathan Coachman. Okay, Kate, thanks very much. And with that... We welcome you all into our EA Sports studios. This is the Halftime Report. In that first half, it was David Montgomery who proved to be tough to stop. He had a touchdown run that helped get his guys this halftime lead. All right, thank you, Coach. And we are back and about set to begin the second half. Fox now to kick this one away. Return coming from the six. This return makes it up to the 25. The Bears to returning their offense and this running back to the field. You know, trying to get that ground game established better than they did in the opening half, Bronx. See if they can attack that deficit.
Drive starts out with a first and ten. Williams from the gun. Finds him over the middle. And he'll go down after fighting his way to the 32. That is a textbook first down completion. Sets up second and very manageable and creates space to take that shot downfield. Second and three now. Oh, they're going to run the option in the short side. And he's brought down after a nice gain and a first down. You know, Coach gets in that QB's headset, probably told his offense and his QB, listen, I don't want to see a third down on this possession. Or something kind of like that. Whatever version he told him, it worked. Let's see how they attack this first down, Brock, from the 43. They are on the counter with Swift. And he's going to be brought down after reaching the 43. Big gain, 14 on the play. And that's a Chicago first down. You know, Kate, if you notice those guys that, that love to feed themselves on the field, right? They love to just get more and more. They're hungry for even more. I'll tell you what, that tackle, it prevented something that's going to be a lot bigger. But that back remains hungry. First down, Williams. That throw finds Komet. Who gets forward, and that's about four yards. Brian Branch getting there for the tackle. Just stay on schedule. Just stay on schedule, right? SOS. Bad thing on a ship. <laughs> Good thing on a football field. Even a little completion keeps this offense on schedule. Now there's the flag. Looks like the jump came from the left side of the line. One of the most common penalties in the sport. And the reaction, it's the same every time, Brock. Frustration from the coach as they get backed up five yards. Back to the line they go. It's second down. Williams on the play action. Catch made by Allen. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. It's a 26-yard pickup there. And that's good for a Bears first down. I may love watching a great thrower, but I love watching a well-done route too, Kate. Make that guy think you're trying to stack him only to drop your hips and cut right inside. Some good work to help reset those chains. Offense set for a first and 10. Running behind center with Swift. And he drives that front backward on a gain of four. You know, Kate, these are some of the little hidden plays in a game. It right? doesn't look like a whole lot on the stat sheet, but A, it gets a good yardage. B, it sets up your play action. And C, most importantly, keeps that defense guessing. Second and six coming up here. Staying grounded with Swift. And he's able to get it to the two before the stop. That's a gain of 13, and it sets him up with first and goal. Hey, these are the type of games he's counted on to get when they're available. Unfortunately, we had tremendous vision to see the scene and get through it before that window could close. This offense in position now. It's first and goal. Out of the pistol, Williams escapes the pocket. And he'll score. Touchdown, Chicago! The Bears take the lead right away in half number two. Caleb Williams, the touchdown! Great play by the QB there, Brock. The play broke down. He didn't have much of a choice other than to escape and improvise. And in the end, turned out to be the best call he could have made. It is such a necessary tool in today's NFL for that QB to put right in his tool belt, Kate. You know, in my day, you could be a blacksmith, right? You could you just do the job and stay in the pocket. Not anymore. You got to be an artist. And you got to be an artist that could create when things break down. And that's big time to get a touchdown out of it as well. Extra point is good by Santos. And the Bears take a four-point lead.
Taylor has it on the tee and is ready to send in flying. Fielded at the seven. And in the end, Brock, an exciting touchback as the return comes out to the 30. The Lions and Jared Goff set to take over on offense once again. And like we've seen from him before, Brock, he got a good game going early through the air and kept the pressure up from then on. He's still taking it to him now as we work through this second half. First and 10 now from the 30. Give to Montgomery to start the drive. And he found some running room for a nice game. It's an eight-yard pickup, and they're going to have second and two next. So much to like about that run, Kate, particularly what he was able to get out of it. The defense, I think, feels a little fortunate they were able to track him down before an even bigger run in crossing that first down marker. They go play action with Goff. It's incomplete. Should have been a catch downfield, but off his hands and to the ground it goes. Intended target there was Sam Laporta. And that leaves him with third and short. I'll tell you this, Kate. They doubled him knowing that was where the pass was likely headed. That's doing your homework. A bit surprising QB still threw it in that direction with how well the defense had that one covered. Throwing now, third and two. Gets it quickly to St. Brown. And he made a bid for midfield there, but stopped on his own side at the 49. Give him 11 yards, Brock, and a fresh set of downs. You're not going to last long in the National Football League if you don't convert a good chunk of your third downs. Nice find there to continue the series. First and 10 from a yard shy of midfield. Goff setting to throw. Couldn't connect across the middle. It's an incomplete pass. That just goes to show you can't take any completion for granted, even on some of the shortest passes in the game plan. Couldn't connect on first. It's second down. They are throwing it again. Throw complete to Williams. And he drives this across midfield and down into enemy territory. So now here's third and five. Out of the shotgun, gone. He lobs it up, looking deep to the right side. They connect on the deep shot. And the catch is made, touchdown Detroit! The Lions grab the lead on their first series of the half. David Montgomery with the touchdown. If you're gonna complete that one successfully, Brock, you need the perfect throw, just the right touch, and you also need a guy who can go up and get it just like that. Yeah, need to be able to muscle somebody off the ball if you're not alone. And call me a little biased. Go ahead. I don't care. <laughs> you're biased. But the success of that play does come down to the timing of the uh, throw, Kate. Uh -huh. If you don't throw it on time to that exact spot, you run out of room, and you don't give yourself that kind of chance. Bates tacks on the extra point. And the Lions push their lead to three. Fox now to kick this one away. Here's a return from the seven. He stopped on the return at the 27. The Bears back out on offense. They're running back, headed out once again. They get that big old marker out, cross a major number off his roadmap after that last drive. He's reached one of the marks that every back strives to hit at some point during the season.
They're out and set. First and ten. Off the play fake. Williams. Has his man. It's Swift. And he'll have a small four-yard chunk there. Brian Branch getting there for the tackle. I don't know why every once in a while I'll get these little flashbacks, but a little play like that just flashes me back to the preseason, my first preseason, when one of the veteran QBs said, hey, Brock, whatever you do, just find completions. You will never go broke taking a profit. Go get a completion. They're at a premium in this league. He lets a heater go deep, middle of the field, and there's a man there. It's intercepted. That's Carlton Davis. Well, obviously not the cleanest game without two interceptions, but here's the key. This is where mental toughness for a quarterback becomes so critical. And frankly, why some of the best QBs playing today have baseball in their background, because you flush your mistakes. Okay, you strike out, you throw an interception, but you got to go get it in that next series. Got to put these interceptions behind and press forward ahead. The Lions headed back out on offense. Their quarterback returning to the field now. And this is some quality film review right here. Look at this. Couple of touchdowns. Good amount of yards, too. He's been moving them down the field like only he can. Putting together quite the game for himself in the process. Ball at the 33 for first down. Throwing from the gun. He had it for a moment, but a great defensive play to jar it loose. Incomplete. Amon Ross St. Brown, the intended receiver. So second down coming up. You go middle of the field against zone coverage, Brock. You know this firsthand. You are throwing into rush hour, and there just there aren't a lot of easy completions to be found in that part of the field. Yeah, and a lot of those throws, Kate, you're signing your guy up to take some sort of hit. It's on you to protect your guys. Credit that defense for flying around and making the play. Gets this to Montgomery. Decent game here, but short of the first. You know, you compare and contrast stats over the decades, Kate. One thing you see is the completion percentages are through the roof. In this day and age, compared to the 60s and the 70s, the big reason is just completions like that. Utilizing every one of your eligible receivers that time, a running back in the flat. Looking to throw on third and two. Pass taken in by St. Brown. And this one doesn't go far. All you can do is shake your head sometimes. Sure, the pass play works, but they come up just an inch or two short for the first down. The Lions readying for the punt. And he'll try to have his second punt top his first one. Got 46 on his first punt, and this one's pushing a little more distance. And he'll bring in this fair catch at the 13. The visitors and this running back headed back out for a new series. No return on that punt. And it's going to be their football coming up. Offense ready to begin this drive. First and ten. Looking to throw here and shake off that previous INT. Able to get it to Moore. And he's up across the 20 before going out of bounds. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. On the carry, it's Swift. And they're able to haul him down, and that's going to wrap up this third quarter. A touchdown aside in that frame as we run out of time in the third quarter. The Bears have the ball, and they're going to need to score. They come in trailing. It's a new set of downs for him at the 32. 
Going to the ground again on first. And this run is stopped after getting up past the 35. First down play, nets him five. It's going to be second and five. You gain that kind of yardage in the run game, and you're going to gain the trust of your offensive coordinator. Plays like that, runs like that, set the table for everything else in the playbook. Halfway to the marker. It's second and five. Going run again with Swift. And he's going to be taken down right around the 39. Two yards on the pickup, and that leaves him with third down and three. Working from the gun, Williams. Complete beyond the marker. And he's going to get this up to the 45 before he's brought down. They get six and a first down as well. That's what we call situational football. You spend all week working on your nickel passing game package to take advantage of third downs just like that. Ball on the 45, first and 10. Running with Swift out of the gun. And they'll bring him down after a small gain to the 48. It's a gain of three for him. That brings up second and seven. Out of the gun, here's Williams. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. Those passes get more and more difficult as you try to get aggressive down the field. Those windows and throwing lanes, Kate, are not open very long, and it only takes a little bit for a throw to be thrown off. So after that prior incompletion, we've got third down. Williams set to pass. And he's brought down right in the neighborhood of that 40-yard line. They get 13 on the pickup, and that's a Chicago first down. Well, that is pretty darn impeccable timing between the two. They hit a curl route of that length. It takes great anticipation and precision by the quarterback and the receiver on the other end finishing it, doing his job. First down now, ball at the 39-yard line. To throw is Williams. Got Everett, and it's complete. And he stopped at the 31-yard line. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. Takes the handoff, now to throw. Swift hauls it in. Give him three on that game. And that's good for a Bears first down. They like to say it's about the Jimmys and the Joes. I think that's about the X's and the O's. That's a well-drawn-up completion that nets them a first down. They'll keep this drive moving and come to the line for first and ten. They'll run now with Swift. And he's into the front for a gain of about two. Well, Kate, a two-yard run on first down, I think that keeps you ahead of schedule. But you're going to have to pick up the pace. Eight yards to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. To throw, Williams. deep in our own territory down inside the 10. Okay, Brock, now back-to-back -back drives where they have picked him off. That's got to be a worrying trend for these coaches who know how integral the passing game is to their game plan and their success. Those poker players, the best of them, when they figure out a tell, they know exactly how to beat their opponent. This defense right now, they're reading this quarterback like a book. The offense headed out now for Detroit. They were only on the field for three plays their prior series, Brock. Let's see what changes they make to take over here. Now 
They'll get this drive started. First and ten. Motion in the tight end now. First down throw from Goff. Caught him deep behind the line. Oh, the ball is out! And this is going to be a turnover. The defense forces the big play. Well, that didn't take long, Brock. One play, and they're back out there. Well, that's how a defense can make you awfully happy as an offensive player, especially when you screw it up and you fumble. The defense picks up that offense and puts them right back on the field. The visitors and Caleb Williams running out for their next drive. And I don't think we can really call these highlights, partners. Shall we just call them replays as we re-examine his performance so far in this one? Three interceptions mixed in among his work. It's really limited a lot of what he's been able to do out there. Chance to pay off their defense's effort as they start out first and goal. Trying to shake off the interception. He's looking to throw. Almost had six, but can't find him in the end zone. Incomplete. Just something off in the rhythm of their passing game on that one. Time to recalibrate and keep throwing it to get back into rhythm. So the incompletion on first. Here's second and goal. This is Swift, and he's in for the touchdown. The Bears take a fourth quarter lead. DeAndre Swift, the touchdown. It's what every player who scores a touchdown wants to do, Brock. He wants to get right back there and put another six on the board. I've never met an NFL player content with one end zone trip in a game. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Yeah, if you're content, you're not making it to this league. You get one, you're instantly thinking of another, and the fortunate few are able to actually deliver on it. Now a try to go up by four, put it out of the range of a field goal. Extra point sent right down the middle. And the Bears take a four-point lead. Taylor has it on the tee and is ready to send and fly. Reynolds with a return. He stopped on the return at the 27. The home teams ready for their next series. Let out on offense by their quarterback. And he'll be happy to keep letting it fly as much as he has all game. Look at these numbers. They show just how effective he's been in captaining this offense. And the drive will start out with a first and ten. Goff back to throw. Finds Laporta. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. Now after making that catch, we see he's shaken up. Trainers heading out to take a look. One play in, and this drive is already in enemy territory. Patrick going to motion over left. Goff on first and ten. St. Brown's got it. Complete. And he's brought down after pushing to that 35-yard line. Kate, when Bill Walsh was implementing the drag route with the 49ers in the 80s, it sounded the same way as it did with Mike Holmgren and me with the Seahawks in the 2000s versus man on a drag route runaway. 
You see zone coverage, settle down, give your quarterback his numbers, and you can find a completion just like that. From the 35 on second down. Buck Williams, and it's complete. It's a pickup of 14 yards as the chains reset. Nice to see that connection, that chemistry working between the two of them. And they've got themselves another first and ten. Throwing again. It's gone. This throw is caught. And he's going to be taken down near the eight-yard line. That's a gain of 13, and it sets him up with first and goal. It sure seemed like he knew exactly where he was going with that right off the snap. Gotta think this is four down territory, Brock, as they come up here first and goal. Working inside the red zone. Has it in close. Touchdown, Detroit. So that, Brock, an important score here as they move out in front. This is the time of the game where your legs just get a little bit tired. But that was a determined-looking drive right there. They were not going to be denied, and they're able to score and take the lead. Pretty important PAT here, Brock, to make it a field goal game. The point after splits the uprights. And the Lions push their lead to three. Fox now to kick this one away. Scott now to return. Coverage team gets him down at the 26-yard line. This offense running out for a new series, led by their running back. And I think we can agree the plan to keep him out of the end zone it hasn't quite worked so well for this defense, at least not yet. He scored twice, really being the one his group can turn to for a spark or a big play when they've needed it. Drive starts out with a first and ten. Now Williams. That one is incomplete. Couldn't hang on through the contact. Now throw in the direction of DJ Moore. So it'll be second down. That drop ruins the payoff to a well-designed play. It got a man open. It beat the coverage. That's a call they can revisit in the future with hopefully a much better job finishing the catch. Williams thrown again here on second down. This one's corner complete. And he's up to the 35-yard line as they reel him in. We reach the two-minute warning in Detroit. Bears down by only three. And the Lions into a nickel set for third down. Back to throw it. He's got him. That's Swift. And he'll get them enough for a first down. Just get this guy touches. I don't care how. I don't care when. Just find unique ways to get this running back the ball. And over time, he's going to make you pay. You set it down for him at the 38. Throwing now. And he just gets rid of it. Knew he had a couple of plays left. Didn't want to take a risk there on first down. This is why we hear about closing speed so often when you evaluate players. You know, once he senses the pressure, he's getting rid of that ball. It takes a player who can close quickly to get to him before it's released and alter that throw. Looking to throw it. And this one's incomplete. Too low as it skips off the ground. Just 
couldn't find Roma Dunze there. And things look tougher now with third and long. Can't cover it much better than that really well-covered feed on that play. There just simply was not a window for him to sneak that throw in. No connection on the last play, and out third down. Here he is to throw. That's caught for the first. And he takes this in. Touchdown, Chicago. The Bears jump in front late. DJ Moore, the touchdown. So what a finish this is shaping up to be. The late touchdown here, Brock, moves them in front. And week to week, what a pleasure it is for us to call these games. We never know yeah. what kind of game we're going to get. This one's been everything you could have wanted. And now, even though they've taken the lead, there's still enough time on that other sideline for them to go mount a response. A chance to take their lead beyond a field goal on this point after. And it's good. So they take the lead and the extra point buys them some breathing room. A field goal does not tie it now. Taylor has it on the tee and is ready to send and fly. Has this at the six. And this drive will start inside the 25. The home teams are being led back out there on offense by their quarterback. And he has continued to own this defense and keep on throwing that football partner, making this performance one that he's going to remember. Uh, but as you like to say, the defense would probably rather forget. They're out and set, first and ten. To throw. Completed over the middle. And it'll be brought down along the 25-yard line. This is one of those kind of win-win situations. Both sides feel good. As an offense, I get a completion. I get a win. As a defense, I keep everything in front of me. I make the tackle for a short gain. I get a win, too. Sometimes you can get to win-win. Now to throw. Gets this one to Patrick. And he reaches the 35 before going out. It's a pickup of nine yards. And that'll be first down Detroit. Move the chains. Got to move them chains. Build momentum and keep that defense on its heels. Wary of the clock here, Brock, but at least all their timeouts are still available. It's first and ten. Back to throw. Laporta with the grab. And he'll get it up to the 44. Now we're going to get an offensive timeout. So that's their first. And they still have two available for them as we approach the end of this game. Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one. He'll look to throw it. An all-around tough play for him. He took a shot on the release, and it definitely affected the throw. It's incomplete. Well, that's one you chalk up to the pressure earning that incompletion. They came in before he could find a target, hit him, altered that last-second attempt to get rid of it. Last pass unsuccessful, and they have third down here. Looking to throw. Has him on the quick hitter. And that short gain is enough for a new set of downs. You know, Kate, they say a dog is a man's best friend. Well, a tight end that moves the chains on third down, that's a QB's best friend. Lions really moving with a sense of urgency. Clock keeps running. Here he is to throw. 
It's incomplete. Risky throw to the sideline. They're lucky that defender didn't keep on going down the sideline there. It's going to be second down. <laughs> I think I could see his eyes from the booth. He was envisioning the return and simply dropped it. you got to secure the pick before anything else. So after the incompletion, here comes the second down call. Setting up to pass. Throwing this back in the end zone. And he's got it. He pulls in a game-winning touchdown with almost no time left. Absolutely clutch score there, Brock, as they take the lead here in the final minute. Incredible execution. The moment not too big for any of them. And, Kate, they cashed in when it really mattered. Extra point upcoming. This to put it to a field goal game. And he shakes out the pressure to nail the point after. And now an opposing field goal would only tie this game. Fox now to kick this one away. He's going to return it from a yard or two deep. And he's brought down just inside the 25 on the return. Offense ready to begin this drive, first and ten. One final shot here. And the Lions get him, down he goes! So it's one for the win column for the Lions. And there was no easy enough. It took some white knuckling until the very end, but their defense carried that small lead through to the finish line as they escape with the victory. So for Brock Ewer, our incredible crew, everybody here at EA Sports, I'm Kate Scott signing off. We'll see you next time. It's a win for the Lions, as we'll see you next time from Detroit.